tuliona vile mkiangalia wakati genocide ilikuwa Rwanda mkiona wakati wanafanya vile vyabu ya kukumbuka mifupa yao yenyewe ilishao kufa mkiangalia wanaitia kwa internet sababu ile ni upagani mtu hapaswi kukumbuka mifupa ambayo ilishao kufa ni kwa budu sanamu lakini ukiona kila hata mamizee huku unaangalia kwenye wanatia mamifupa mfupa wenyewe wanatiaga swate ni wang, ya ngombe maisha kukufa au wa mtu mwenye alikufaka au mfupa wa chochote kile ambacho kiliishi kwanza lakini juu kimekufa ndio kwa maana kimewekewa muda mrefu na mifupa yake imeisha kukauka imekuwa mifupa yani haina tena nyama haina tena mishipa imegeuka kuwa mfupa And here the Bible is telling us that he was taken in the in the valley, in the midst of the valley, and there he saw bones, and these bones were dry. And bone, these bones could be the bones of people who died, and there was no flesh on it, and everything is gone and is exposed to the dryness that it's dry. For example, in Rwanda there was genocide, mm. and normally once in a year they displayed out on the internet saying that we are remembering the people who died, but this is really paganism because it's, uh, we are not supposed to worship such things to remember people bring it to God. That's an uh, uh, God. Mm -hmm. But here in the Bible is telling us that the bones were dry. That's yes. normally something that has died and after some time the meat or every fresh on it has gone off and it's dry completely and exposed and remain there. And that's what Ezekiel saw. Yes. So, wakati tunaongea juu ya mahali walipoona hii mifupa. Hapa ndio ujumbe wetu huko. Mahali walipoona hii mifupa ndani ya vale, ndani ya bonde, inaitwa bonde. Ili bonde ndio tunajaribu kujaribu kuonesha bonde ni nini kabla tuingie tujue hii mifupa mikavu imekuwa ime, ime mikavu namna gani before we go deep we will need to focus mostly because they say the bones were in the valley and what's the valley mm. and that's when we want to dig deep and see what the valley was bonde tukiita bonde ni mahali pa kushuka yani ni mfano ya kwamba mtu alitokea kule ulu, alafu anateremka anajifukuta iko kule chini ndio bonde bonde ni mahali ambapo watu wengi wanapenda kuishi ambao wana pesa juu watu wengi wapendi hawapendi waende kuishi ku mlima wasisumbuke na kupanda mfano mkumbuke Abrahamu wakati alimtenganisha na Lutu alimwambia chague Lutu alichagua kwenda kuishi ndani ya bonde ndani ya Sodoma na Gomora ilikuwa ndani ya bonde Abrahamu yakaenda ku mlima Amene. Kwa hiyo bonde hiyo bonde bonde ni mahali ambapo watu wanaishi katika raha. Yes, valley is, is a place where people live in in pleasure, in luxury. It's a place which is always fertile, it's down in the valley and people always like to go down in the valley, but they don't like to go up on the mountain area. Wakati uko kumwelima, uko concentre, wakati uko kumwelima uko concentre, uko concentrated na jinsi ya kupanda mwelima. Na muna ya kushika, na muna kuweka mguu vizuri. Lakini saa uko mbonde, hauna ya kufikiria juu ya kupanda. Aha, wakati uko mbonde, uko nafikiria, utakula nini, utaishi nini, unaju, unaona kila kitu kiote kiko vye, kiko sawa. Umu njoo kila dhambi yoyote inafanyika. Maisha ya bonde ni kusema, ni ma, mahali, bonde ni mahali ambapo, Mutu ameshuka mahali ya, ya mtu anaishi dhambi dhambi zinaishiwa mahali ambapo kila mtu yeyote wabaya ambao wote ya mabaya yote yamefanyika yanafanyikiwaka ndani ya bonde mahali pa kuangalia hata shetani mwenye tu tunasema shetani anaishi chini ya maji maji kule chini sababu kule chini ni bonde njoo kwenye shetani anaishi njo bonde ile njo hali ya bonde yes pastor give an example of lot and abraham when uh, they confronted they decided to say, okay, let us share. Lord chose the valley because the valley is a place which people, life is easy. There's no struggle. You just take everything. It's a place where a lot of sin is committed. And when you are the, on the mountain, normally you struggle a lot. You think, how will I get up on the top of the cliff? 
how will the stone not fall on me? You struggle, you are thinking a lot. But down in the valley, life is easy, and people tend to become relaxed, like where you think life is easy, everything is available, and that's where sin is committed a lot. Because even the devil, when we are talking about marine spirit, we are talking about the, the spirit of marine lives down in the water. Mm. And that's the place where all atrocities are committed. That's a place of comfort where people say, yes, I've reached where I've reached, I have what I want. Why do I struggle more? Because mm. everything is in the fridge, everything is available. You look around, you see things are flowing. That's in the valley, and that's where they sit, and you are trapped in there. Ndani ya, ndani ya bonde ni kwenye kila mtu anaenda kutafutia vitu vya rahisi. Sababu hawana ha, ha, hakuna jinsi. Yaani mtu haiko interested na kwenda kupanda kumulima, kwenda kuangalia vya mbinguni. Anatafutia vya, vya rahisi ni kule chini. Ukilota uko na shushwa ndani ya bonde. Ni kusema pale unalota una, una, una maisha yako beko na ishusha kuzimu. Yaani ni habari za kushindwa. Yawezekana kushindwa kiroho au kushindwa kimwili lakini hii bonde ambayo tunao isema mfano wake ni mateso uh, like the valley we are talking about we are talking about the valley of challenges where he was taken and normally in the valleys where people life is is everything is because here you don't need to struggle people are satisfied with what they have why do they think they, are, uh, they, they, they believe that now I've reached my point of, of no return. I have everything. And I don't think about other uh, issues ahead. But when you look at the mountain, is you are claiming, you are confronted with a lot of uh, ways. How will I get up? What means should I use? Mm. But up on the mountain is a struggle. Mm. Because whether the rocks can fall, mm. whether you can flip from the cliff and fall down. Mm. Away, Come on! Mm. You are in the valley. You are deep in in the pool where you are relaxed, uh -huh. there is no need for you because you don't even spend a lot. There's no need. Of, there's no need of. There's no need of God in the valley. <laughs> there is no magic around you. Just run around, you find. But in on the mountain, you struggle to get up there. Yeah. Muvale, muvale, munani fasi ya bonde. Hauna lazima kutembeza gari ya ngufu. Ah ah, gari ya gari ya 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 four times four. Hauna ah ah, ile hauna nayo lazima. Katre fa katre ya gari. Eti akupanda muri mapan. Uona gari ya mavuatire za leaks. Gari nzuri. Wanawake wazuri. Wanawake wa rembo. Njo kwa maana shetani alibeba Yesu kumulima. Ana muonesha vale. Ana muonesha kule chini. Ana muonesha njo bonde. Kwenye kulikuwa kila chochote. Kwa na wake wazuri. Nyumba nzuri. Wathi watu wa rembo. Wathi shana. Pombe, nyi, pombe nzuri. Muvinyo mzuri yoyote. Haka mambia ukini. Ukishuka tuku ni abudu nita kupatia kipande. Yesu wako mambia wana pasu abudu tu mungu wako moja peke yake. Ye njo mungu wa vile vyote. Bonde ni mahali pa mateso. Ndo vile ni redefine. Bonde ni mahali pa mateso. Uh -huh. Down in the valley is a place of torture. Is a place of struggle. Is a place of suffering. But on the other side, the devil will lie you. Just as it went to Jesus. He said, you look. He took him on the top of the mountain. He said, you look down in the valley. There were beautiful women. There were a lot of resources. There are many things that you are seeing down there. He said, if you believe me, then I'll give you all these things that mm. are down there. Mm. And this is where people are trapped. Here in the valley, you don't need a four wheel, four by four wheel or round cruiser to, to say that it will go up in the no. Everything is easy. You can even use UNB. Uh, you can use just the... Uh, motorcycles, small things to drive around. Even you can walk, you can cycle. But on the top of the mountain, you will sweat before you get up there. And that's where, down in the valley, is where sins are committed because everything is easy without no sweat. Yes. Mifupa mikavu. Tuende saa kudefinisyo ya mifupa mikavu. Mifupa mikavu, barasepi, vile nasema hapa kwamba, yeye Ezekieli alioneswa mifupa mingi sana. Eti likuwa mingi sana. Tene likuwa nakauka. Alafu, tunayi tunayenda pale chini. Kwenye mungu anamuonesha Ezekieli anamambia, iu mifupa mikavu ni mufano ya wana wa Izraeli kali taifalangu teule. Ambalo limeanguka. Yani mifupa mikavu ni upunguvu kiroho. Ni kifo kiroho. Awo kifo pia kimwili kupotea kabisa ndani ya ulimengu kimwili. Yani mifupa mikavu ile ni kifo kiroho. Awo kifo kimwili. Uh, dry bones signifies or we define it as 
Mm. Not only or, phys or physical. Can be physical or, or physical or spiritual death. Yeah, spiritual death or physical death. Mm. Where Ezekiel was taken, and the Bible described that there were a lot of bones, and these bones were dry. And then God told him, "She those bones. These are the children of Israel who were lost. Mm. Who went? Who went away from the truth? Mm. Who departed away from the word of God? Who ignored the Sunday services? Who ignored the serve the God who brought them from Egypt? Those who disobeyed and doing things like homosexual, uh, doing all kind of evil things." Those are the people that when the Bible say you see them, those are the people who were my own and who denied me and thought that they were evil, they were having everything. They are the wicked people that last time Asifa was describing in Psalm 73. He said, when I look at them, they are driving like the cars, they have good houses, they are beautiful women, their children, they study in Harvard. My own children are self studying here in Congo or Kipo in Uganda or in Ethiopia and they have not reached there. And they say that if you look at these ones here, those are the people who are going down there in the park. Yes. Sasa, hapa tunaelewana kwamba tuko na point mbili ambazo tumegusa kabisa. Point ya kwanza ni bonde, bonde na tunasema bonde ile ni mateso. Point ya pili tunasema ile mifupa. Ile mifupa tumesema kwamba ni upunguvu, ni uzaifu, ni kifo kiroho au kifo kimwili. Alafu tuende ku ya tatu. Yes, we the other ones we have now identified two points. We talked about the valley and we have talked about the bones that are dead and dry. And the valley we said is a place of stagnation, a place of struggles, mm. a place of ease to the devil. But uh, dry bones uh, die spiritually and physically into your life where you have departed from the word of God. You, you think that you depend on yourself and you know and you think that God doesn't know. That's what we call about dry bones. Tuosome, tuengali muilele andiko moja juni, bambia tunasoma kutoka moja yake mpaka 28 ndio kwenaishia lakini hatutaisoma yote twende kwa mapoe potential zenyewe zinatupeleka kwenye message yetu tuangalie moja. ile sura yake ya 37 tusome moja yake uh, I, showed, I told you in the very beginning that you know, we are supposed to read the whole of it one one of uh, Ezekiel 37 one to, to, to the end but we are going to go to the main points which you, we are going to. Now we are reading Ezekiel, the same book, verse 11. Okay. So then, mm. then he said to me, mm. son of whom, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Mm. Behold, they say, our bones are dried up and our hope is lost and we are completely cut off. Mm. When the lay past of figure coming on twelve, therefore profess and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of the, your graves. A at your pale pass, at your pale quant, at your pale. Bibi na sema tukamata kwanza ile 11 tunasikia kuna vitu viko vinakuya tuwakia kwanza kwa ile 11. Bibi anasema halafu akaniambia mwana wa watu mifupa hii ni nyumba nzima ya kizazi cha Israeli eti tazama wao wanasema mifupa yetu imekauka na faraja yetu imepotea tumekataliwa mbali kabisa na Mungu. Amen. <laughs> Anguko, the fall. And this is the third point about this reading. We first said the valley, the bones, and the third point is the fall. Una, this una, unasikia kwamba kitu kia kwanza Israeli wamekuwa ndani ya mateso, ile mateso walio kuwa ndani, ya wezekana we mwenyona nisikia sahi, awe mwenyona utanifuata nyuma, Na wewe kuna mateso ambayo unayapitia. Mateso haiyakuwa kifo bado. Yaani mateso ni mateso. 
lakini kifo kinakuja ya, ya ambayo inaendana kifo kina definire yani namna gani ulihando ile mateso ambayo ulipita ndani mateso yao yenyewe haijakuwa kifo hapana unaweza ukateswa unaweza ukateseka lakini haujakufa kiroho lakini juu kufe kiroho juu kiroho yako ikufe lazima ukwe umekoza jinzi ya wewe kujipatia nguvu na bidii ya kuondoa katika ile bonde na kupanda mlima bwana tusaidie sana the third, the fourth point, the third point is the four. It's talking about when you fall. When I'm talking to you, you know, this was the situation the children of Israel, they had fallen. They fall because of the challenges they were going through. And the challenge is not death by itself, but it's how you handle your challenge. And when you give up, like they have given up saying that our life is, is hopeless, we have no hope, mm. and we are good already, that's when you give up your soul. Mm. But here, they were having challenges that you may be having, maybe financial, maybe in your marriage, maybe in your, your business, maybe in your career, maybe from your family. When things are going upside down, they are not what they are supposed to be. These are the challenges that they had, and these challenges does not mean the end of your life. But when you give up on God and they are given up, then you become a dead person. Like this day. You become dry. <laughs> then, wakati, wakati yenye una give up, you be, first of all, you become dry. Unakuwa umekauka. Yani, hii wakati unasahau mungu ndani ya shida unayo ipitia, unakauka kiroho. Sasa, hii kukauka kiroho ni kukosa muda wa maombi na mungu. Unaweza kuwa ngali na amini mungu, lakini hauna muda wa maombi na Mungu unakauka unaanza kuangalia shida uko napita ndani unaanza kuangalia ule baba mwenye amekutesa unaanza kuangalia ile kikundi kenye kimekutesa unaanza kuangalia ile magonjwa vile mekufanya unaanza kuangalia ile familia vile na kusema unaanza kuona hali ambayo unaipitia unakuwa dry Unasema ah Mungu labda hakuwake tena. Tavi wao walisema ya kwamba eti wanasema mifupa yetu imeka, imekauka. Yaani haina tena mafuta. Eti Mungu wetu afanyake tena amelala. Haleluya. Alafu hapa wanakauka kiroho wanakauka. Juu kufe wakati wanaenda kukufa hapa ndio tuko tunaenda muhimu version nyingine. Hiyo nitakuja kwayo. You see dry of the bone is signifies lack of hope. Mm. When you are in a situation, maybe it could be in your marriage. It could be your husband, it could be your wife, it could be your children, it could be the people I've said about you, it could be your family mm. you are trying to do much, it could be the family of your husband, it could be the family of your wife, it could be the, the neighborhood, it could be the surrounding, it could be the working place. But when you give up, on these issues and say yes let them take over that's when you die and becomes a dry bone like this because now this one accumulates in you you now have no time to pray you lack the prayer to put force into you may be a christian but because you're lacking the prayers for the small shock that has happened into your life you give up you say now <laughs> but if god exists why should it happen to me why is it me going through this problem why is this happening? It's part of life. But if you give up, you quench the fire on your altar. That means you have brought dryness mm. into your Yes. Wakati unakosa muda na Mungu, yani unaangaje kukauka. Yaani unawasha moto ndani ya maisha yako na kauka. Unakuwa fufe, unakauka. Yani pale hauna tena tumaini, hauna tena hope sasa vile wao. Yes. Immediately, dry. When you, you become dry, it means you have lost your sense of hope. You become hopeless like the children of Israel. And they said, we have no hope anymore. Because now you have lost contact with your God, whom you should pray and trust on him. Because he said, in every circumstance, bring it to me in prayers. Mm. And that is shall be given unto you. The Bible tells us. But now you have said, I, 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 it's not really me. Why is it me? Why is it me? And then you lose the sense of focus 
of being in relationship with God. Mm. You are now pointing at other people. Oh, it's because of you. You did this. It's because of you. I, it was this. That's why it happened. It is because of you. Instead of looking into yourself first and examine what is yourself. Mm. The, the people owe you yourself you also have your own problem. And when you point at everyone, oh, it was that person. They are the one that made me. It's my fleet. It's my parents who <laughs> cast me. It's kids who are have you examined yourself. You're perfect or right. Because the Bible says there's nobody perfect here. You oh. may point at the other by yourself inside. You have not checked whether you are the one causing oh. the limit, whether you are the one causing people to divert from you, mm. whether you are the one bringing problems into your family, whether you are the one who has forgotten the issues with the land you are living in, then you want to inherit the things back home where some of us say, okay, I am a man, it's me, uh, as it's in Africa, it's me who determine everything, or oh, I'm a wife now between you, yes. It's me. We are equal oh. now. We are the same level. I don't bear who you are my husband. You are not with me. You depart from what God made you and enjoy the same culture here. You go down in the dry ponds. Twendani tu, tu, hapa. Jambo, jambo moja liku hapa. Niliwambia ni na inayurudia tena. Mutu, mutu kupita ndani ya shida. Shida ni, ni parti ya maisha. Shida kugonjwa ni parti ya maisha. Mateso ni parti ya maisha. Machozi ni parti ya maisha. Niliwambia siku moja ya kwamba. Hii tunaita challenge. Lakini challenge haiko problem. Challenge yenye naleta problem ni namuno na solve challenge. Ile shida, namuno, na, namuno na, unatatanua shida maisha yako. Hali yenye na kamata. Saidi yenye na kamata. Kote yenye na kamata mushida yako. Esko na bebesha wengine njua mizigo palia kuangalia weye. Ile njua naleta shida kwa problem. Lakini shida haiko problem. Shida haiko kifo. Bila, sababu niweze kuwa ilistre hii. Juu muweze kuyelewa mzuri. Nina puenti saba. Yeye tunaita bonde saba. Watu walipita ndani ya bonde. Wakiritu sanyie. Watu sanyie. Wa, wa, wa cha mungu sanyie Lakini walipita ndani ya bonde Bonde saba mbazo walipita ndani Nita waletea zo hapa Yes, uh, I'm trying to elaborate more Problem is part of life Some people when they think that when I'm born again I'm a Christian and these things have turned out No, you will have challenges in life mm. There are problems are part of life And these problems No, no, challenges are not pro cha part of part cha we, we separate these two ways Challenges are not problems yet because there is a problem and there is a challenge. A challenge is not a problem yet. But a challenge becomes a problem depends on the way you have solved the challenge that came on your way. Yes. Yes. So Pastor has elaborated the more has clarified there what it means, challenge and problem. And the issue that we face as a problem is how you handle your challenge. Mm. How you solve it? How you, then after you and you, what comes out with how you solve your challenge? Then it, it manifests in the problem because now from there, did I go to pray when I face this challenge? Mm, mm, come on! Mm. You said it would be a mountain for yourself. You on the you on the point now? Come on! Mm. You didn't pray when the challenges you're facing. Now you said no. I yeah, I have to point the finger. It was that man there. It was that woman there. It's them who did this. Instead of praying, did you pray? Or you decided to go and fight for yourself? Because the avengers is not your own. It's God's own. Mm. It's God. Avengers is not your own. It's my own. Don't fight. fight. It's me who will fight for you. Now you decide to take the work yourself. That's mm. one way how you solve your challenge. And the outcome of that, if it was aggressive, I'm going to attack the person. I'm going to face this person. I'm going to also prevent by doing evil. That's the outcome of which it becomes a problem. For yes, you. yes. And that's what we call being in the fight. That is the, that, that is the point. Even your point is about to quackle. Sasa nilisema, watu saa siye, wakrisu saa siye, wanye walitangulia ndani ya imani, wako nalia kwenye uko, walipitia na we ile machozi uko nalia. Yenye kwa nafanyika sahi haiko mpia, ili kwa toka zamani. Uh, the challenges we are talking about today, are not for you, you are the first. You be the their forefathers have passed through the same challenges that 
that with those dry valleys, the down in the valleys that we are talking about, where the dry bones, they have passed through. And you, you are not the first person to pass through. So know that the past, people have passed through the same challenges, but they have come by the way they solved the challenges. Yes. So there are many things here we are going to look. How these challenges have happened and they are still happening and they are due to happen again. Sababu sababu nikianza kabla ni kupatia mfano ya ya hizi ya hizi ya hizi ya hizi bonde saba mfano ukiangalia wewe uko na imani kuzidia Abrahamu una imani kuzidia Abrahamu alipita munini Abrahamu una imani kuzidia Adamu alipita mu challenge una una imani kumuzidia Mungu alimkataza siku lakini challenge ilimkuie upendwe kamupeleka ndani ya dhambi Abrahamu naye Mungu alimwambia tamubariki lakini upendwe kamupeleka ndani ya ndani ya ndani ya washerati anaenda kuzana vitoto vitoto inji. huko 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 na imani kuzidia Daudi Daudi ambaye tuko tunasema wao lakini Daudi alianguka probleme yani challenge ya Daudi ilikuwa ni maanguko lakini ile anguko sababu ikue kifo kiroho ukufe nikusema ukose kumrudilia Mungu pale njoo inageuka kuwa problem ndani ya maisha yako unakufa wakati unakosa kumrudilia Mungu hapo njoo kufa kwa hiyo wapendwa ni hata kuna mfano wengine mfano kama vile Ayubu Ayubu kuna imani kumuzidia lakini angalia na watoto walikufa na mke alimkatala wengine wewe uko na niangalia unasema mke wangu e, ndoa yangu na ndoa yangu inacheza ndoa yangu na mke wangu alinikataa labda mke ameenda amekuacha labda mwanaume ameenda amekuacha unasema hakuna mwingine mashia kwa na shida kama hizi Ayubu mke alimkutukana mali ilienda kila kitu una imani kumuzidia lakini sasa msimamo wa Ayubu haikutuma yeye anakufa au anakauka kiroho maana ile mafuta ile kumchua Mungu ile kumulilia Mungu ili tuma Mungu wakati ana restore ana restore maisha Ayubu akamupa double double ndio vinavyo mwimbaji anasema everything is double double sababu ya imani Ayubu hakukauka kiroho hapana Ayubu hakutupa imani hakukua kama wana wa Israeli hapa vile kwa nasema alimtumainia Mungu ule ule Mungu mwenyewe alimwaminia alimrudishia ule mke tena akamrudishia na mali na warafiki wenyewe walimtukana wakarudi kuomba msamaha tena wale walibarikiwa sema hii Yesu kwa Mungu asante bwana majeshi siku ya leo nikwambie kuna mtu mmoja ambaye Mungu anataka aguze maisha yake mm. i don't know what you consider what faith you have mm. is your faith Greater than that of Abraham. Mm. Do you have the same faith like that of Adam? Do you have the same faith like that of David? It was due to love. Abraham departed from faith, <laughs> but still, in that he remembered that there is God. Mm. Still, David too, he had through, he went through challenges, but still, down in his valley, he remembered that there is God. Mm. And Job in the Bible, he went to the point where even his own wife. Departed from him, no matter how good they enjoyed together. The wife later on started also turned against him. His friends, the good people, relatives from every side, they turned against him. But he stood on God. He knew. Hallelujah. Israel, who said, who turned away from God and said, we have no hope. There is no God anymore. That's the end of the that. That's when your dry bones starts. Yes. If you go down in your chariot, down in your valley, and stick on God and hold Him and say, Father. Today you like or you don't like. I will not leave you until you bless me. Uh -huh. God will turn around and restore him. And that's how he also restored Job. He returned to him, mm. devil and devil. His wife, he came back. His friends who turned against him, they see they went down on their knees. People may mock you. People may underrate you. Mm. People may criticize you. But they don't know the devil is using them. They don't know Hello. the devil is existing. <laughs> if there's a Christian, they are just... They don't understand how things work spiritually. They think it's no more. I don't know it's this God you're talking about. You know you also. But this is how they never use it. It passes behind to attack you, and then you fail to lose your trap. Mm. You lose, and then you remain in the valley, and you'll be like these dry bones, like the children of Israel. Yes. And say, I will never make it. This land, as I came in Denmark. You know I don't have education. I will not make it. Mm. No. But the God who brought you said, I'm taking the land where there's milk and honey. If you stick on him, he will give you that milk and honey. Yes. He said, I will make you to take over the land mm. of those people, the wicked. He will give you the violence. He will give you the dead man. He will give you what they have and he will give it to you.
ujumbe Mungu alinipatia ni kwa mtu mmoja ambaye anatusikiliza hapa katika mtandao online. Kwa mtu mmoja ambaye hata